In the gritty streets of 1980s Los Angeles, where opportunity was scarce and danger lurked around every corner, a young man named Rick Ross, also known as Freeway Ricky, found a way to rise above the chaos. With a sharp business mind and an iron will, he transformed the crack cocaine trade into a booming empire, earning an astonishing $3 million a day at his peak. How did he achieve such staggering success? It wasn't just luck or brute force. It was a combination of strategic alliances, an unparalleled distribution network, and a deep understanding of the market dynamics that fueled America's insatiable demand for drugs. This is the story of how Rick Ross became a kingpin in the drug world, raking in millions daily, and the lessons his turbulent journey offers. The life of the real Rick Ross, his rise and fall. Early life, Rick Ross, born Freeway. Ricky Donald Ross grew up in the poor neighborhoods of Los Angeles, California, Born on January 26, 1960 in Troop, Texas, he moved to L.A. with his family at a young age. Rick faced numerous challenges growing up, including poverty and a lack of opportunities. Rise to Power Rick Ross's ascent in the drug trade began in the early 1980s. He was introduced to the world of drugs through friends and quickly realized the immense profit potential. At first, he started selling small amounts of cocaine, but soon he found a more lucrative opportunity with crack cocaine, a potent and cheaper form of the drug that was sweeping through American cities. Connections and Network Ross built connections with suppliers who could provide large quantities of cocaine at lower prices. His most significant connection was with a Nicaraguan named Oscar Danilo Blandon, who supplied him with high-quality cocaine at very low prices. This connection was key to Ross's rapid rise. Business Acumen Ross was not just a street dealer. He had a keen business mind. He built a distribution network across Los Angeles and eventually expanded to other cities, including Cincinnati, St. Louis, New Orleans, and Kansas City. At his peak, Ross was distributing several tons of cocaine every year. Daily Earnings At the height of his operations, Rick Ross was making staggering amounts of money. It's reported that he was earning up to $3 million a day. This level of profit allowed him to live a lavish lifestyle, buying numerous properties, cars, and other luxury items. Downfall Despite his success, Rick Ross's empire began to crumble due to increasing law enforcement efforts and the inherent risks of the drug trade. Law enforcement pressure. The federal government started cracking down on drug trafficking networks across the country. The DEA, Drug Enforcement Administration, was particularly interested in dismantling Ross's operations due to their scale and impact on communities. Set up and arrest. In 1989, Ross was set up by his former supplier, Oscar Danilo Blandon, who was now working with the DEA as part of a plea deal. Ross was caught in a sting operation while trying to purchase a large amount of cocaine. This led to his arrest and subsequent trial. Sentencing. In 1996, Ross was sentenced to life in prison for his involvement in the drug trade. However, his sentence was reduced on appeal, and he was released in 2009 after serving nearly 20 years behind bars. Life after prison. After his release, Rick Ross turned his life around and became an advocate against drug use and for better opportunities for inner city youth. He wrote an autobiography and frequently speaks at events, sharing his story to help others avoid the mistakes he made. Summary. Rick Ross's life is a classic tale of rise and fall in the world of drug trafficking. From humble beginnings, he became one of the most powerful and wealthy drug dealers in the United States, earning millions of dollars a day. However, his success was short-lived, as law enforcement eventually caught up with him, leading to a lengthy prison sentence. Today, 
He uses his experiences to educate others about the dangers of drugs and the importance of making positive life choices. If you've gained anything from this video, then don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the No Aim, No Gain YouTube channel.